I, Spencer, take you, Ruth, to be my wife. I, Ruth, take you, Spencer Hall, to be my husband, to have and to put my cold feet on forever. <laughs> I will, above all else, become God's design, desire, and intention for marriage. In you, I have found a man whom I can completely trust and entirely surrender myself to. It is my prayer that God will equip me to be the wife that you need, a wife of true and noble character, slow to anger and quick to forgive, a wife that points you to our God. With each new day, I will put you first, surrendering myself and laying down my life for you as Jesus did for us. Ruth, I promise to love you and be faithful to you until the day I die. I will be humble, allowing goodness to grow continually between us. I will be intentional and caring for our marriage and defending fiercely against the attacks of our enemy. I will be a sacrificial servant, putting your needs, dreams, and desires before my own. Without a pause, I will choose you in everything. I will be fiercely committed to you. I vow to love you with no boundaries, to love you with no expectations, that our love would be a steadfast love rooted in the Lord. I will give my God-given strength to you and for you in all things. I will cherish and nourish you in our relationship every single day. I will always greet you with a warm hug and my complete attention and never say goodbye without a loving kiss. I vow to pray for you every day. I vow to listen to you and search for your deepest heart desires so that you will feel known and understood. I will create a home with you that is filled with the compassion and fierceness of Jesus. I will encourage, defend, and desire your wholeness and holiness of heart so that you may truly say you're a woman after God's own heart. I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of Where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season And lose all sense of time I'm moving far away to a sunny place where it's just you and me feels like we're in a dream you know what I Summer air by the seaside The way it fills our lungs The fire burns in the night sky This life will keep us young, yeah Keep us young And we will sleep by the ocean Our hearts will move Time. And we will wake in the morning to see the sun paint the sky. I'm moving far away to a sunny place where it's just you and me. Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean I'm moving far away Sunny play 
As I read these words, I understand the promises I have made will not be easy and that they will be tested with fire. I promise, therefore, therefore, to fully trust God as my Father. I will look to Him as Christ looked to Him, allowing Him to lead me and teach me what it means to be a good man and husband. I will trust fully in Christ and His work. I will allow Him to sculpt me into the man He had in mind when He created me. And I will trust in the Holy Spirit to lead me, teach me, speak to me, and guide me into good paths that bear much fruit in our marriage and in our lives. In essence, I promise to co-lead with you as a man after God's own heart. In the presence of God, I make these vows. With my words, I will build you up, and through my actions, I will affirm you. I will fight to protect your heart and treat it like the treasure that it is. And when you are sick, I will be your favorite nurse. <laughs> Through the joys and sorrows of life, I will be your teammate and your greatest cheerleader. I will respect and honor you. Through your abundant wisdom, I will trust full-heartedly in your leadership. I'm looking forward to the day that we have beautiful curly-haired Spencers running around. <laughs> you will be an exceptional father, teacher, and leader. Spencer, I pray for you. I prayed for you before you came. You were the answer to so many prayers. You are my beloved, my forever best friend. Together with God, I know we will create a beautiful, full life. And I'm so excited for every adventure with you. You are the man of my dreams. I love you so very much. Now pronouncing for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Hall, 